So congratulations, Sam Indy. Would you like to participate in preseason friendlies? Um, yes, I'd like to participate. This is because I want to know how the team plays. I want to know what am I looking at? Who am I going to sell? Who am I not going to sell? What are we looking at here? Asian Elite Cup Champions Trophy. Of course, we're looking for the most money. The only challenge we have would be Bayern and Villarreal. Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, I can can fight those guys so cool straight up we're introduced to the home screen we have the advanced tab of course training tab of course news that's where we get all the news I won't really dive into the news because I'm pretty sure that's the same as all the other it becomes repetitive at some stage I won't go into depth when it comes to that uh, I'm always disappointed because it's never really new or anything I don't see anything new let me check yeah same format same everything just looks different better we in a group with al hilal al ali and leverkusen leverkusen should be the only problem but other than that i'm not too scared in this episode i'm just going to you know look at who am i selling who am i keeping in the squad and who am i buying most definitely so i don't really like to see which players they've picked up for me to look at i normally just delete all of those guys I, i'm never going to choose what the game really suggests I, I scout on my own, I choose my own players, so I won't really have no intentions of buying somebody they have suggested to me. Anyway, I'm going to look at the emails. We have um, Man City, the Asian Elite Cup, who recognize that you, the coaching staff and the players are just coming over, are just coming off a very draining and demanding season, so we appreciate that you have accepted the invitation in Saudi. It's a great opportunity during the group stage, the competition, you'll be facing teams, we already know that. Thanks for telling us. The club is telling me that merchandising is an important source of income. They would like a goal of 170 million from sales in player shirts. Uh, this shouldn't be the deciding factor when buying players during the transfer window. Keep in mind that bringing in popular high profile players along with good performance from our key players will go a long way in helping us achieve this goal. Really, I'm not, I don't have to do much, I just have to play well, that's what it comes down to. Trans Transfer market is open, we always get this message, we know what it says. Our vision and expectations, pretty sure they want me to win, I'm not going to even bother about that. First, the scout report has arrived, I don't care about those guys. Uh, let me view the, uh, the GTN scouts because I, I like to see them. All five star, I'll get another one. Not too good, but I'll get it anyway. Already spending money, already wasting money. So what are we doing? I'm gonna look at our finances. This is a new feature in, in FIFA 17 where you get to see your finances, you get to see your expenses, you get to see your earnings, club worth, and you also get to see the projection, what they think you're going to be worth throughout the duration of your managing career, if you wanna call it that. Earnings, we had six million. I'm not sure where that comes from exactly. Expenses, either way, transactions, here we go. Scouting Network took us 1.23 million in the whole player transfer, 46 million for who? I don't even know who that is. Bravo. Okay, I respect that. Sani, I respect that also. 18.5. Who we have there? Stones, don't know who he is. Lejeune, we got 6 million for him, so we sold him. Either way, boom, boom, boom. I'm not really, I don't really care. I don't really know what's going on. This is the budget that we have. I don't really like splitting the thing in half. Around a 60 40 situation it keeps me on my toes and I know what I'm doing. I can refresh or renew different um, contracts for players and whatnot. Getting down with it. Let's let's do this. I've got my starting eleven. Really cool. Aguero at, in the front. We've got Silva doing the left mid thing. Fernand, Fernandino, centre mid, De Bruyne. I forgot about. I forgot that he even existed. I'm so glad that he's on my team. Sterling on the right wing. I'm not a fan of Sterling. I mean, how old is this man? 21 and he's 82. I could do better if I searched for a potential youth or something like that. Stones, we just bought this guy. He's used to 78 in the back. I could get somebody better, Zuma. I don't know, Laporte. Either way, company will be definitely replacing Stones. I'll do that right now. And then this Gundogan guy, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I will play him for Fernandino. Of course, I'm looking at overall. Who else do we have? We have Navas in the, in the reserves. We have Zabaleta in the reserves. So Torre, of course, has to be the bench. I was gonna say he has to be in the pitch, but right now it doesn't seem like he's needed. From what I'm seeing, I don't run anybody really under 85. And if you are 85, you must be under 20 years old. There's no way you can be below 85 and older than 20. It makes no sense. If you're below 85, you must be you must be at least around the 78 thing and you must be at least around the 18, 19 year range. I don't care if 
logically that doesn't make sense to you guys but that's how I look at things so first thing I'm going to do is go to the transfer list and sell everybody over 30 normally I do over 27 but it really depends how I go through that so now I need to, I need to get used to all this again where do we get you want to sell players so I normally just sort it out according to age we have Caballero at 34 of course he's gone no doubt bravo he just joined the club i'm not sure why we paid so much for such an old person sanya needs to go i will find a right back to get him tore as much as i love him he needs to go fernandino he's useless he needs to go zabaleta needs to go our final replacement so i need two right backs at this stage Clichy needs to go, Silva needs to go, as much as I love him, he needs to go, Kolarov needs to go, Navas needs to go, he's already in the bench, all reserves, I can't really remember, Company needs to go, we can find somebody much better, I'll replace him with Zuma or something, Nolito will consider him next year, in fact, you know what, let me be, let me be smart about this, let me not sell, should I sell Silva, could I get a better CAM? He's 87, he's 30 years old. You know what, no one's gonna buy him by the time he has to retire. I'm just gonna sell everybody over things, no holds barred. Bravo, uh, yeah, he'll sub Caballero for now because I have to, but next year, most definitely, he's gone. Do we have any kids that are useless? 17 and 61, I don't understand how that makes sense. You're out. Patching, you're out. Diaz, you are recently joined the club, so you're going on loan. Most deaf, two years, don't come to me. Mafia, 1865, okay, maybe, 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 no, 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 1865, okay, that's potential, but 1860, out, 1859, out, and look at that, we have 19 year olds who are 70, 72, 74, and then we have a 19 year old who's 65, out, it makes no sense, what, you're underperforming immensely, and we have another 19 year old, 66, out, bro, 20 year old who's 65, out, dude, I've got younger kids who are better, all right, and then we have a 21 year old, 61, out bro, don't even bother coming back here. We have a 24 year old, so bring her up, dude. You're just useless. All right, that's all I can do for now. I'm not even gonna be bothered about who I'm selling. I'm just gonna buy people based on what I want. I may have to increase my transfer situation. I just went through all these different players and I kind of narrowed it down to a, a small list of players that I'm actually looking forward to. I'm hoping to be able to sign all of these players. Can I afford it? I don't know, but uh, depending on whether the other players that I'm selling are going to go, I will be able to afford almost all of these players. But starting off the list, we have Jimenez. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. He's valued at 23 million, overall 83. He's 21 years old. I think that's pretty good. I like the way he's headed. He looks like a pretty good guy. I mean, we have strength at 86, aggression at 89. Those are the kind of the features that stand out for me. He is a centre-back since I am selling one of my centre-backs. And then we have Niklas Sule. I don't have him. I'm still scouting him right now. But I know he's a good player. I know he has a lot of potential. I've seen him develop in all the FIFA games. And I'm pretty sure he's going to develop in this one. Depending on his stats, once the scout comes back, I'll be able to tell for sure. Luke Shaw, same thing. I've had him once in the previous FIFA. He just skyrocketed for me. He went all the way up to 85, 88. I don't really know, but I know he's one of the best. Same with Saul. Don't have any uh, stats on him as of now, but I know he's a player I'm definitely interested in, in buying. Martial as well. I mean, look at the stats for yourself. Acceleration 92, agility 86, sprint speed 91, balance 85, dribbling 89. This guy is the perfect player. Now, will Man United sell him to me? I don't know. But let's just hope so. Same thing with Ali. He's a good replacement for now. Um, for Silva as a CAM, I wouldn't mind having him. He's only 20 years old. I know he's very good. I've seen him play. Player that I'm really interested in. I don't know how FIFA rated him, but depending on that, I will buy him. Especially Asanzio as well. Same guy. He'll be subbing Ali, whether I get them both. Um, but it's good that I'm buying both. I have Korea, one of the greatest strikers in, in terms of developing that I've ever seen in FIFA. He was better than Aguero when I had him in FIFA 16 and I just, I used him also in another Manchester City manager mode and he just skyrocketed when it came to potential. And Kingsley Coleman, he's 20, he'll be my left winger. Let's just hope I get to land all these deals. Um, there's nothing much I can really do at this stage. I can just advance because I really want to see what offers I get from different clubs and if they're good enough. And I'm not going to make too many changes until the club is actually complete. Um, I'm also going to invest heavily, heavily, heavily on 
Youth Academy. So advancing now, we're approaching our first game. Atletico Madrid is saying that is impossible to buy Jimenez. I think I offered them around 28 to 29 million. They want a price tag of exactly 36 million. Man United accepted Martial at 27.5. He was valued at around 25. They wanted 30. I gave him 27.5. I cut it right in the middle. So of course I'll be taking that, but I need to get him there. There's no way I'm paying that much money for him. I mean, he's only valued at 23. They want 36. I'm gonna fight them with 32. We'll see what happens. I'm in no rush to get this player as such. I'm gonna submit offer for now, and we're gonna go ahead and accept Martial and try meet him in the middle too he wants 120 I'm just gonna see if I can get him off with 100 of course he's going to be a first crucial first team player where is he now he's an important first team player I'm gonna try to see if I can get him as important first team player we have plenty money to play around with um, I'm not even shy of paying for everyone so now we're gonna play the match um, against Al Ali Let's go far right. Silver, you're being sold, so you better do something worth your time. And De Bruyne, can he score? Nope, you can't. And we still get a goal anyway. I'm not sure who that is, but we got a goal. We're winning. It's quite easy right now. Nolito in the sixth minute. Not too bad, not too bad. Ooh, they almost scored and they do score. Al Ali, a team I've never heard before, just scores. Nothing I can do about it. I'm just gonna keep moving on. Um, again, I am playing a world class. So with a team like Al Ali scoring, I'm not sure what I'm gonna face when I play teams like Bayern or Man United or whatever, but I'm excited nonetheless. Not too bad. Okay, we've got Bravo. Squares it out. This guy gets it. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. De Bruyne on the ball passes it to Sterling. Sterling looking for somebody else. Nobody. Defending is all off. Defending is completely off. I'm not even making a difference and they score another goal. World class is not for me. I'm probably going to dumb it down to professional. And if I still lose there, then shoot me in the foot. I don't care. Sterling takes it. Sign up, back to Sterling. Can Sterling pass it through and square. Not too good, not too good, not too good. A possession gets the ball. I'm not even touching the ball at this point. These people are just playing all around me. It should have been a goal to be honest. So we've got Nolita on the ball. He passes it to Aguero. Can Aguero do much? I'm sure he cannot sprint everyone. And here we have a beautiful, beautiful pass to Sterling. Can he do something? And he finesses it. Left bottom corner. Beautiful goal. I can't shout. I would go really crazy about that, but not for me. Is it a foul? Oh my God, they get a free kick. Too scared. I'm not too scared. We've equalized. There's not much to be. Oh my God. Frostbite got that right. They got it right and I just suffered because of it. It never happened in FIFA 16. That has never happened in FIFA 16. And now for the first time, I believe that I was in the clear by doing that and it backfired hardcore. I'm impressed by Frostbite, but I hate them because I did not know about that. Had I known about that, I would have not done it. In FIFA 16, it is impossible for that to happen. I've never personally had that happen to me. That was a giveaway. I deserve that. Not mad about it. Game over, we lost 3-2, not mad about it.